You sure this is right, Joe? Oh, yeah. Behold. The engine of infinite power! You're sure about the name? What? Well, you don't like it. It's just... There's no way that thing actually produces infinite energy. I just thought it sounded cool. But you never know. It might actually work. But just in case, I've got an ace in the hole. Sharky Carl's magic energy tonic of a thousand exploding suns. Whoa, who's Sharky Carl? I've got no idea. But the guy I bought it from in the reef insists it's totally legit. With this stuff, we should be able to power up our weapons to the max. Or destroy them. Cody, every single day, Phaeton is producing more weapons in his factories. So we're going to need more powerful weapons too. Everything should be fine as long as Professor Piccolus doesn't realize we broke in here to mess with his science junk with absolutely zero permission. What in Neptune's name is going on here? Uh, we broke in here to mess with his science junk with absolutely zero permission? Smooth, Joe. This is madness! You boys could have gotten yourselves hurt! Oh no, I already poured in the last ingredient. Whoops. No! No, 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 no! Professor, watch out! It's okay, I can fix it with Okay, okay, so maybe the professor had a point. Professor? Are you all right? Yeah, okay, not all right. The cephalopod! What? But he's going to pull it off to who knows where. Exactly. Come on. <gasps> where is he going? What do you think? Whoa! We have to fix the professor, Joe. You're telling me. If he gets to Atlantis, he could do some real damage. Well, there is some good news. What's that? Well, the Explodo juice only lasts one day. So we just have to wait this out and Piccolis should return to normal. I'm happy Piccolis is gonna be okay. But we're still heading for Atlantis. A day might be all he needs to smash the city. Or it might be all the time we need to wreck Phaeton's most dangerous weapon stores. Joe, you're a genius. Ready? Ready. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Piccolis smash! smash. Doesn't seem right. I don't know. I always like a good rest after a montage. No, I was looking at some of the scans of Piccolis, and he's not changing back at nearly the rate he should be. Where's that bottle? I know we've been ignoring Phaeton's calls, but you know what, dang it? We work hard. We deserve a day off. <laughs> but this is our meantime. I'm out of here. <laughs> Yep, 
Any minute now. Joe, you read the bottle all wrong. What? Look! One dose per year! <gasps> is that covered up with ink? Pickles is gonna be stuck like this for a whole year. I'm starting to think Sharky Carl might not be a totally honest dealer. Focus, this is bad. We put Pickles in danger. We can't wait for the energy to wear off. We've gotta save him now. Save Pickles? It's those storm guards that are about to need saving. Exactly, and when he's back to normal, how do you think he's gonna feel about causing all this damage? Oh, squid. We're gonna have to go mix it up, aren't we? Mega mix. All right, I'll go distract him. No, 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 you gotta stay. But I got us into this mess. You gotta think things through. You're a smart guy, and I know you can come up with a cure. Me, I'm gonna go down there and try not to let Pickles turn my head into street jelly. Good luck. Hey. Hey. Give me your helmet. Absolutely not. Without my helmet, I wouldn't be nearly as terrified. Give me your helmet. Oh, that monster dude is gonna smash it onto your head permanently. Uh, in that case... No joke. You did not need that helmet to be terrifying. Oh my goodness, thank you. Okay, gotta make a map. Hey, Professor! School's a prison for children. Books are just boring TV. History's just made up anyway. So why bother learning it? Okay, take your time. Figure it out. Right. Step one. Let's review the facts. Piccolo's was changed by the energy blast from the engine. It filled him up and made him super big. Just like a sponge in water. But how do we get the energy out? Just keep running, Cody. Don't stop for anything. Don't stop to see what those kids are. Wait a minute. Kids! Get out of here! Ah. Not who ah! Danger! Run, 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 run! Ah. No, you better have a solution soon. Okay, so hypothesis. Piccolis is a sponge. But how to wring the water out? Ooh. Computer, bring up those scans of Piccolis that Cody ran earlier. Now, compare them throughout the day. Yes, he's shrinking every time he hits something, which means... Eureka! And the crowd goes wild. Weapons? My cards? Why must I do everything in this kingdom? Fire the missiles! Fire the missiles. <laughs> ah! What was that? Seriously? Mm. You may have destroyed some of my weapons, but you did not destroy them all! I can't hear you. But whatever you said, I don't care. Joe, we need that cure. Cody, you've got the cure. Sure you don't want me to check your math? Take a look at your formulas? No, I thought this through. Listen, you know how when a sponge sucks up too much water, it gets big and angry and wants to destroy the city? I don't think you know how sponges work. We fill Piccolis up with energy, but we can't pull it back out. Only he can, by smashing stuff. He's been getting smaller and smaller, but only by a little bit. To really put it all out, he needs to hit something really big. That should suck all the energy out of him, returning him to normal size. How big? I'd say those'll do the trick. Holy catfish! Joe, you're brilliant. Pickles, those missiles want to destroy your books. All the books. <laughs> yes, my missiles will destroy you, Joe, and Cody, and Monstro Pickles. And that fountain. And most of the area. Yes, I should probably remove myself from the exploder zone.
Professor! My goodness, I had such a vivid daydream. Which I'm realizing wasn't a daydream, was it? No, it wasn't. And we are so sorry. I was suffering from an energy psychomorphic physiological overconcordance. How ever did you know how to cure me? Well, that's a bit of a long story. It all started with Sharky Carl. Anytime. Tomorrow then, I come back here at dawn, my arms full of nothing but pistols.